This is Twit. Facial recognition. Isn't that hilarious? No. Um, there were a few <laughs> stories that caught my eye uh, this morning in the world of facial recognition. One of them you've probably already heard of. Uh, if you've been checking the tech news uh, this morning, you saw Amazon said yesterday they're going to ban police use of its facial recognition technology. That technology, by the way, if you didn't know, is called recognition. However, the C in recognition is replaced with a K, which to me just kind of feels wrong, especially when it's used in like yeah. in like a tracking people perspective. It kind of has a certain undertone to it, whether you want to read into it or not. Uh, it's always given me that, that sort of vibe, so I've never liked the name. Um, Anyways, Amazon is pu is putting this on a one-year moratorium to police uh, departments. Amazon says it's advocating congressional oversight to put in stronger regulations around facial recognition. They hope that this year is going to give Congress the time needed to do that. Of course, the flip side of that is, well, what if that doesn't happen? Although there is some movement, so there there's some promise in, in that hope. Um, to date, recognition has been used by a number of police departments, uh, though Amazon has refused to name which ones. They probably have some sort of an agreement with the police departments as far as that's concerned. Um, and this really does nothing you know, to uh, affect Amazon's relationship with police departments as relates to its other hardware product, Ring, <laughs> which, as we've heard in, in the many months you know, recently, uh, they have a, they definitely have a, an arrangement with the police, and you have to opt into it if you're a ring owner. But still, it's it makes a lot of people uneasy that those ring video doorbells, you know, the the footage from that can be easily tapped into by police and and uh, and monitored. So, Amazon's relationship with police department right now, especially in this moment where all of this is so top of mind and so critical and important, um, things are shifting a little bit. And might just be part of the kind of the wider attention being placed to uh, police department reform and that sort of stuff. So um, I think that's good news. Although a year, you know, there's a lot of people criticizing Amazon. Like, why do you stop there? Why why should they have access mm -hmm. to this? I don't know. What do you think? That That's how I feel about it. I don't understand this year thing as if that's supposed yeah. to make it somehow. But I, I don't what what does a year do um <laughs> i it it's it like, like they can't an empty commit. gesture they can't commit <laughs> yeah totally. yeah exactly they're saying for now we're not going to let them have this but eventually we will and what that what it says to me more than anything else is we think that the calls for reform will be uh will have blown over in a year and so at that mm -hmm. point then we'll make it available to the police that's what that says to me. So it feels, <laughs> it almost feels worse um, than yeah. having not done it at all because the gesture feels empty or it's it's not even that it feels empty. I, I don't know what, there's like full, there's empty and then whatever is below empty, <laughs> that's, it, it feels negative uh, because it's saying uh, we're just going to wait for this to blow over, but we're going to do this thing now because maybe it looks like it's a nice thing. Right. Uh, I, it satisfies I, I the like calls it. at this point. Yeah, exactly. totally. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's like uh, having your cake and eating it too. Essentially, is what it mm -hmm. kind of is. Uh, IBM also said this week they're getting rid of uh, they're getting out of the facial recognition business. Um, so there's there's movement. Uh, I, I guess the positive is that these companies are taking a look at this and second guessing their own kind of commitment to the technology that they've made and, uh, you know, possibly, hopefully crossing fingers, seeing how it could be used in bad ways, uh, as opposed to the ways that they think, you know, that they're super ambitious with what, what facial recognition could lead to. Sometimes the negative aspects of it get lost in the crossfire. Um, one other story real quick before we jump to the ad, one zero is Dave Gershgorn and friend of the show, uh, wrote about a facial recognition test that was run on 30,000 Rose Bowl attendees. No one in the stadium, this was early, earlier this year in January, no one in the stadium <laughs> <laughs> Certainly wasn't last month. Uh, no one was notified of the test. Uh, no consent, no awareness. Cameras were essentially hidden underneath digital signs. And they analyzed how long fans were looking at ads, uh, their gender, age, uh, and looking for suspicious persons, all that kind of stuff without being notified, right? Which really kind of uh, shows how like the, the biggies in this field, um, Amazon, IBM, you know, uh, Clearview, 
they can they do this and they fall under scrutiny because they gain that attention. But then you've got all these little smaller ad tech firms that also have access to this technology and they can really just kind of go rogue with it. And <laughs> whatever, we'll see what happens. Who cares? 30,000 people. It doesn't matter. And uh, here we are. <laughs> if it was if it was appropriate and uh, made for good audio, this is the part where I would just scream beep, for like seven beep, seconds. Beep, beep, beep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'll I'll let that go. It's uh, that's just so stinking frustrating that yeah. they just okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just do this thing and not tell anybody about it. That's yeah. awful. Awful. Not a good, not a good time to do that now or really ever. So hopefully, yeah. hopefully that yeah. message is driven home more and more as stories like these come out and they're discovered and everything. It's like, okay, well, wait a minute, maybe that wasn't a good idea. But they have no real reason to feel like it's not a good idea because the regulation is in place anyways. There's no real kind of uh, regulatory body that's holding their feet to the fire as far as this is concerned. So that seems to be where we are hopefully heading. 